Hey guys, if you are new here, this is Dr. JT, General Medicine Resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel, Dr. JTM. Did you subscribe to my channel? If not, go subscribe and also click the bell icon so that you won't miss any notifications from me because in this video about the career guidance to need PG aspirant, the topic or the branch that we are going to talk about is the branch that is on demand and the branch that most of the students want to take, that is radiology. And we have a very special guest who will be talking about the pros and cons about taking this radiology branch and also how will be the life of a PG student and how will be the future if you opt the radiology branch. And we also have a funny round that have many questions that will teach radiologists. So don't miss, watch till the end and without any delay, let's start the interview of our guest. Radiology, which begins with passion. I have always found radiology as exciting as anything in my life. I have done my UG in Pinamanini Medical College, Vijayawada and MD Radiology in Deva Patil Medical College, Pune. Then my fellowship in Neuroradiology in Nanavati Super Speciality Hospital, Mumbai. Who I am? Myself Dr. Sushen Kumar, MD Neuroradiologist. Hello sir, welcome to our channel Dr. JTM. I am really happy to have you on my channel and particularly uh, a video, uh, a kind of video like this guiding the juniors and also the future generation into radiology. So we have a lot of questions from why radiology to how radiology really helps a PG aspirant or a PG student who is getting into the radiology. I think you are ready for all those questions. Hi Jashwant, yeah, this is a good initiative actually for the students who just wrote neat and who are in confusion of which branch to take and what are the pros and cons of the departments. Yeah, yes, good. Sir. So, uh, I would like to tell you, sir, this interview contains of uh, three segments, of which two segments are professional and the last segment is a funny round which will be involving some <laughs> teasing questions to radiology branch. Okay. So, let's start the interview, sir. So, the first uh, segment is about the importance of the branch radiology. So, why only radiology, sir? Uh, what essence did you really uh, find in that radiology branch? Firstly, the radiology is the most underexposed branch compared to all the undergraduate sub subjects. We usually tend to get exposed to the radiology in the internship days. That is the point where we you know, come to know the importance of the radiology. What I felt as the essence of radiology is the modernization of the medicine to clinical based medicine to the evidence based medicine. medicine where radiology plays a major role. Radiology is the only branch where advancements are happening every day, every second. So let's move on to the second question, sir. What made you to take radiology? Uh, is it really your primary choice or secondary choice or tertiary choice? I mean, like from the beginning, you thought radiology is my branch or you thought you have uh, two to three options, then you chose radiology or you have no choice, that's why you have opted for radiology. No, Jashwant. Uh, radiology is always my first choice. Okay, during my UG days, uh, between 2K5 and 2K10, so that was the first time when I was exposed to radiology. My institution bought the first MRI machine in AP, first 1.5 Tesla MRI machine, which costed around 6 to 7 crores at that time. And during that promotions, I went to the department, I saw the machine for which I fell in love, then I saw the workflow of the department, and then the income levels, that means in terms of billing per day made me fall in love with radiology. So that will be a good point that everyone have to uh, note because to opt a branch you need to really have uh, one thing that really excites you. So here uh, the point that excited sir is about that MRA which was uh, installed in their uh, hospital. In the same way what really excites you is really matters for you to go into the PG and your uh, particular dream branch. Well that's a, that's a good point but the next question is where does this radiology stand in the world or in India? Uh, I am very greedy to say that it stands uh, at the top in the entire world or in India. But you have to accept the fact that the modernization, modernization in radiology is happening every day, every second because it is always upcoming branch. It, it started in, at around 1980s from where it started with just an x-ray then uh, slowly ultrasound came then computer tomography in 1980s now in the recent times 90s the MRA is coming. Advancement made radiology to be at the top. So with that question sir there opens a doubt for me. How different is that being a radiologist in India and in other countries like US, UK and Australia or any other country. Okay, radiologist is, is a radiologist whether here or there. 
but only the only difference is the work working times in india and the pay which you get in india are completely in contrast for the working times in other countries where it is much less and the pay for for which you get is much more compared to india that is the only difference but the work we do here is the same work they do in other countries so let's move on to the next question sir tell our students the pg aspirants why they need to opt radiology what is the importance of your branch so they need to opt radiology because uh, reading ct and mr films looks easy but it is not as easy as it looks so it requires so much of skill which is difficult for uh, other branches it requires uh, so much of knowledge it, it requires so much of uh, uh, experience uh, along with that uh, you will have a good pay scale as well as the feasibility of timing so those are good points but with knowing why you need to take radiology definitely our students want to know what are the best colleges in india so what are the top 5 government colleges in india that you would name first thing would be aims then pgh chandigarh okay then stanley medical college in chennai is a good medical college then ucms mm-hmm. then also you can look at uh, km in mumbai okay so i would suggest these are the good government medical colleges with good e- equipment okay and good case load so if that is for government colleges so what about private or the deemed universities that are top 5 in india this name was the top 5 So I would say DV Patil Pune, SRMC in Chennai, mm-hmm. KMC Manipal is a very good institute, um, then MS Ramaya, then JSS Mysore. So those will be the five top private colleges and five top government colleges if you want to list out for your counselling. I think that would be helpful. So we'll move on to the next question. Sir, there is a talk about your branch that radiology people won't be interacting with patients much and there will be a bar between this radiology doctor and the patient do you say this this is the biggest drawback for your branch no no it it depends on your self perception so it depends on you whether to just keep a bar between the patient and uh, the doctor or you want to be a clinical radiologist now it is the time to change everything and it, you have to be a clinical radiologist rather than just working behind the computer being yes. a diagnostic radiologist so that's a good point but with that we have completed our first segment about the branch radiology we'll be moving on to the second segment which really tells us about the life of a pg in radiology department so we are in the second segment about the life of a pg student in this radiology branch so let's ask sir about how the life of a pg will be so with the first question i'll be starting sir how will be the workload in your department and also uh, this workload comparison with uh, private colleges and government colleges the workload compared to government or private colleges is not more or less the same in private colleges it must be slightly on a lower side but the thing in radiology is you need equipment equipment the more latest the more uh, advances uh, advanced techniques you can do so compared to government colleges private colleges can afford for that um, advanced tech equipment so even if there is workload government colleges they may get trained to excess of workload but the advanced technique pgs who passed out from private medical colleges will be able to do much more advances compared to the government colleges taking that point into consideration students should uh, uh, get biased sir like uh, they should go to private colleges just because they have uh, good equipment and they could learn the recent advances or uh, they can opt for government colleges and uh, they can learn later about that uh, advancement in the radiology is that possible no it's better to go to a private medical college if they can afford where there are where there is good equipment and good research things are happening okay. rather than going to a government medical college so they can pass get get the degree yes. but again to be as a unique uh, radiologist they need to know the advancement which are happening day by day that's really true sir and with that we'll be going to the next next question so what should be the approach of a student uh, who is joining in this uh, radiology branch like how should they start learning things from the beginning yeah so this is a big uh, confusion between the students who opt for radiology because uh, it is not well known in you uh, undergraduate days once you come into the radiology basics should be very strong the basics once once you think of ba- basics new sub- subject comes into play which is the physics radiology radiation physics or mri physics or C- ct physics so first i would definitely say whenever the pg student takes radiology first they have to be strong with the physics learn 
things how the machines work then we can play with the machines so what message can you uh, give to the freshers the new batch that is coming uh, with the new dreams about uh, joining into this radiology so radiology i would say good physics good anatomy and good pathology will uh, will give confidence in radiological field that's nice and that's a good valid point also because we think uh, what we uh, study radiology in ug or for the pg preparation is completely different that's what uh, sir is trying to tell us so we'll be going into the next question how should a pg uh, in this radiology branch handle stress because mental health being uh, really a very important factor nowadays uh, among the pgs and also in the doctors how should they handle yeah i don't think uh, there is so much of stress in the department in radiology radiology field especially okay. so already the stress levels are low maybe due to work pressure they should handle that pressure once in in the pg only once they cross the pg there is not much pressure they can restrict the timing the feasibility everything is good so with that point uh, just give on a scale of 1 to 10 what will be the stress level in radiology branch okay i would say around 5 to 6 5 Yeah, so five is pretty less. Uh, that's decent. So we'll be moving on to our next question. Uh, here we'll be asking sir about work and family life, the personal life. How do uh, radiology PGs will actually balance? Yeah, I would say not in the PG life, but after the PG life in radiology field, they they will be able to manage uh, both work and family. This is my family, and uh, I always balance both work and family. that is a speciality of radiology where you can restrict the feasibility of work timings compared to other branches you cannot uh, you, you cannot restrict an emergency you cannot uh, you cannot afford uh, a patient wait uh, but in radiology field uh, you you can work from home you due to the advancement in the tele radiology so with knowing about how we can manage the work life and also family life let us know what is the future of this branch like Uh, after completing the residency many think that this is an end branch is that it no the things are changing mm-hmm. so now radiology is not an end branch okay. you can do there are multiple sub specialties there is neuro imaging there is musculoskeletal imaging there is onco imaging there is the the, the latest thing is an interventional radiology mm-hmm. so there are fellowships in it and even there is a dm in it there is dm interventional radiology so radiology is not an end branch it depends on how the that person chooses so if you want to stop with radiology you can but if you want to do there are n number of opportunities to succeed in life so that leads us to the next question can we really see a bright future for the next 5 or 10 years the keeping in mind the competition in the society no it's not like that so radiology every day it's going to be changed okay so there are different modalities in radiology like ultrasound ct and mr every branch in the radiology is advancing day by day every second there is one advancement which is coming and now inter- interventional radio- radiology is in boom and um, there are so many opportunities in india as well to do the fellowships in imaging side as well as intervention side so we can, we can say that means in the next 5 or 10 years radiology will be much more advanced yes yes point? yeah yes. It, it it is true and now there is myth saying that artificial intelligence is going to replace a radiologist but it is not true because without a radiologist it will not work let me go on to the next question sir so how can a pg student reach heights after completing his residency should we do fellowships or should we go into direct uh, putting up a setup a radiology setup or we need to go into the corporate system it depends on the where where you want to settle if you want to settle in a metropolitan cities then definitely you have to be special and you have to choose one sub specialty to be something unique if you want to go in into a periphery and settle then you can immediately after your post graduation you can purchase an ultrasound machine and you can mint money it so it depends on what you want in metropolitan cities you cannot start a setup with an, a simple ultrasound yes, so you, either you have to do a fellowship in an uh, ultrasound like a fetal uh, imaging mm-hmm. or women's imaging mm-hmm. something like that or if you want to do a ct mr you have to choose a specialty like onco imaging neuro imaging if you want to go to peripheries yeah there are so many opportunities so with that we'll be uh, concluding our second segment how life will be in radiology department 
So we'll be moving on to the third segment, which will be a complete fun round, and you you shouldn't miss it. We have a lot of questions to tease this radiology branch. We'll move on to the third segment. Yes. So we are into the third segment, which I have said the fun round segment, which will be having really some teasing questions to this radiology branch. But I won't be here. Sir and Sir's best half will be answering these funny questions. So we'll welcome her. And we'll continue this round. Yeah, she is Reshma. She is doing her uh, final year PG in uh, NRI Medical College in General Medicine. Yeah, I would say we hardly get any interaction with the interns compared to other branches like uh, General Medicine or General Surgery. They have so much of rapport with the interns. Every month uh, they keep changing and all. But in radiology, we hardly see. Even if they are posted, we don't. Even myself, I I never went to a radiology post. So, in friends and family, though, that is horrible. We have to explain ourselves that what what a radiologist actually actually do. They don't even consider us as a doctor. So we have to actually explain what what is the importance of our branch to to them. I would say okay. The minimum the minimum they can earn is around 1.3 to 1.5 lakh with a limited timing. And if if you want to earn more, then there is no end. Compared to other branches, it is huge. That's why other branches think what these people do, then that they they will get uh, so much of pay and all. So, ma'am, sir, we will his income. Is that true? That will that radiologists do really earn 1.5 lakh? Yeah, they usually earn more, okay. but. Compared to general medicine, they are they are better. No, no, no. For radiologists, there is there is no problem. They will definitely get married. Okay. Hmm. So, but regarding uh, in PG time, I would say don't marry in the PG time because it is a chill chill branch. So you better enjoy for the three years, then later on you can enjoy. If there is compulsion to get married. Then I would say first year is the be- best uh, time to get married. I would say my wife will beat me, but I would say <laughs> dermatology is the best branch because in in one way, you, if you want to restrict your timings and all, you can you can it, dermatology is a better better branch. But if in terms of commercial, if you think in commercial way, uh, then general medicine or obst- obstetrician will will be better. For radiologists, there is no friendly department. Everyone, everyone will come and and give complaints on uh, radiology. So there is no friendly department for uh, radiologists. So, everyone are everyone are enemies. <laughs> not for us for them i don't think so usually hods are uh, hods are about 60 years whenever i see of that age in radial departments they are chill only so around 5 to 6 that's it not very strict so that ends the third funny round hope you all enjoyed this session and that's all for this video hope you have you have loved this video if so please do like and share and sir any words for our subscribers please do sub- subscribe for jtm channel and this is a good initiative yeah thank you sir thank you so much for being on our uh, dr jtm's channel and uh, telling all the valuable points that every pg aspirant should take home regarding radiology branch if they are really uh, want to take that branch and pursue uh, heights in future thank you so much sir and thank you so much ma'am for your valuable time we'll meet again with another branch until then bye see you again radiology a branch that open a path to cure a patient a branch that enlightens the doctor's mind a branch that is hidden behind the screen but saves the life up front a black and white screen makes the life colorful i love and live with my branch radiology okay end the um
So, commercial only. <laughs> Thank you. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>